Hi guys, welcome back to Kingdom Live Broadcast. I'm Sam. The topic for the host, uh, this host for your topic today, and today we invited our PM Sam and Jason here because we are going to show you another expansion unit. Uh, that is uh, okay. Let's get into the slide first. The topic today is our SATA J bar, but it's TL SATA J bar. I remember like last week we introduced another J bar like this. So what is the what what is the difference today? Yeah, uh, so previously we talked about uh, also a new TL J bar, but it was based on the USB uh, 3.1 Gen 2 mm -hmm. uh, Type C connection, so up to 10 gigabit speed. Okay. But uh, this time we are bringing the faster J bar, mm -hmm. the same TL series, but we call it SATA J bar. Mm -hmm. and why why is this? It, why is it called SATA J bar? Is that uh, for each J bar unit, it can support multiple lengths of SATA 6 gigabit transfer mm -hmm. so it's it is not just a single SATA 6 gig it's multiple SATA 6 gigabit transfer oh. and plus uh, uh, to use with this uh, JBAR device you will need a, a QXP expansion card SATA card you know, so oh. it's a PCIe card that will go into your host computer or your NAS so is the expansion unit and uh, the expansion card comes mm -hmm. in a set or yes oh that's yeah good. we we put put out all your required uh, items in the, a single package mm -hmm. so you can uh, be ready to use it when you get it okay okay so we will have four main topic today the fir uh, the first one is what we're gonna go next the ways to expand the storage capacity like we provide you different variety of flexible ways like through the internet or through the the, the cable or mm -hmm. other ways so today we will let you know the second part what is our high speed tl sata j bar and mm -hmm. we will give you the skills of all the sata j bars and we will let you know how to use the manager to uh, to to use your j bar on your windows computer or your ubuntu computer mm -hmm. and we also will show you some other expand kinefna storage Okay, so we will start with several ways to use the external uh, expansion unit. Mm -hmm. So the first is like, um, okay, maybe in the past we will use different hard drives mm -hmm. and then we evolved. We evolved into we use like a small uh, portable drives that we can just directly store and we can read, we can write, we can revise all the data files inside that. Mm -hmm. and and uh, the third part is that some of the uh, there are some devices that we just we just we, we can take it as a, a cassette or something we just put our drives the, the 3.5 inch drives inside there and but still we need to use some other things like powers or maybe we need to use something to absorb the shock yeah so, so uh, if you are still using the traditional way to back up your files, you know, mm -hmm. with the multiple external drives or enclosures, mm -hmm. then uh, it's very really difficult to find your your file in a central location. Yeah. Okay. And the multiple power outlets also can do more stuff, you know. I changed the slides. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but basically, uh, for, uh, currently we have several ways for the, the expansion, right? Mm -hmm. Like you can use the, the eSATA in order to, to the connection. I mean, like eSATA or USB, or you can use Thunderbolt, which is really fast. Mm -hmm. And we have SAS. So what are the differences between that? Yes, uh, so basically eSATA, as you can see, uh, starts started with uh, only 3 gigabit per second, mm -hmm. okay, but now evolved into 6 gigabit. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that uh, when you buy a computer or a laptop, mm -hmm. you don't find this connect this co this kind of connector anymore. Mm -hmm. So it, it has become obsolete. And uh, so the mo most popular connector is a USB for data transfer. Yes. So the old USB 2.0 gives about 400 megabit per second. Mm -hmm. And then the new one, uh, starting with a USB 3.0, mm -hmm. also named the 3.1 Gen 1, gives you 5 gigabit per second. Mm -hmm. And the 3.1 Gen 2 or 3.2 Gen 2, the latest name is 3.2. Okay? Mm -hmm. So also with Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 2 by 2. So which gives you uh, 10 gigabit per second and up to 20 gigabit per second. Mm -hmm. So for example, our popular TR002 and 004, they are basically in the 5 gigabit and 10 gigabit uh, uh, connecting speed. Mm. Okay. And Thunderbolt 3 
uh, previously it was a Thunderbolt 2 and it was up to uh, 20 gigabit per second but now the Thunderbolt 3 is also getting popular in Macs and also some of the Windows computers up to 40 gigabit per second yes, yeah. so many Mac users they will buy uh, Thunderbolt 3 uh, rate units with hardware rate mm -hmm. uh, or the Thunderbolt 3 J bar to expand their capacity to back yes. out the data yes. however it is not cheap okay mm -hmm. so Thunderbolt 3 it costs you a little bit money to buy a Thunderbolt 3 uh, external storage device mm -hmm. and if you are in the enterprise segment or if you are if you work in the data center mm -hmm. and you will find the, the external SaaS connection uh, available so yes. those, those have uh, the older SaaS 6 gigabit mm -hmm. uh, mini SaaS connectivity and it gives you a total a single cable gives you a total 24 gigabit per second that's pretty fast. and the uh, new one gives you SaaS 12 gigabit as you can see uh, with four cables you can get uh, as many as uh, 96 gigabit per second out of a single J SaaS J bar with four cable you mean yeah four cable uh, aggregate together oh. for the maximum speed because the 24 gigabit per second is one cable so if it's based on only one cable so uh, far the the fastest the fast, fastest connection is still the Thunderbolt 3 if based on one one single cable uh, yes okay but the uh, Thunderbolt 3 is a little bit, a bit tricky right Sam uh, because for data is maybe only 20 gig and the other 20 is for video audio video audio and uh, the networking, networking. Oh. Okay. so uh, if you are transfer only one type of data it, there's there's a 20 gigabit in Thunderbolt yeah, 3 okay yeah. so here comes the the, the the final question any other high performance and economical option yes so uh, we are that's why we are bringing a brand new type of uh, J-Bar for the NAS users and also mm -hmm. for uh, computer users. Okay. And let's take a look at the uh, offers. Of yeah. So for the desktop models, we have uh, three different models with uh, the 4-bay D400S mm -hmm. and the 8-bay D800S and the 16-bay D1600S. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the recommend models, we provide the 12-bay with a redundant power and the 4-bay with a single power option yep. okay and uh, the reason why I say it is uh, faster than many of the uh, market solution is that look at uh, the first point mm -hmm. by using a single SF F88 cable mm -hmm. uh, it can carry up to four of the SATA 6 gigabit speed so mm -hmm. they can be combined together up to a total 24 gigabit oh okay. so it's the uh, same as the SAS 6 gigabit, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, with our current uh, design, we can support up to 64 gigabit transfer speed mm -hmm. when you have uh, the right combination of the J bar mm -hmm. and the QXP card installed on your device. Impressive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then another advantage is that uh, when you purchase this any J bar model from here, we already uh, include the required. QXP PCIe card and oh. also the cables in the package. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And then third is uh, not just a Q QNAP and NAS support, but also a Windows and the Ubuntu support. Oh. Those users can use this J bar for their data backup. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's take a look at what kind of uh, items we include them in the package. Mm -hmm. So for the 4-bay model, you get the, the QXP 400ES, this card, the 4-port mm -hmm. SATA card in here, and, one cable. and then also one cable. Okay. Because uh, each cable is uh, uh, corresponding to the four SATA hard drives. Oh. Okay, so you will see that in the 8-bay model, we include two cables. Okay. Uh, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So for the, the card, Yes. We, the user needs to install the card into the TL or the other side? Uh, into the host. So the host ah. can be a NAS or can be a computer. So the users don't need to buy a, a TL in, uh, expansion unit and buy another extra card no, for the host? Oh, uh, it's, it's it is included it's in the package. package. Oh, that's yes. good. That's pretty uh -huh. good. So there's no extra cost, just oh. the money you spend on the J buy okay, okay, okay. And as you can see that uh, for the A bay model, the card is different. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is QXP 800 ES. Mm -hmm. This card 
uh, has two ports. You see, there are two ports there. Yes, okay, yes. For external ca cable connection. Ah, yeah. But it can support uh, eight hard drives. Mm -hmm. And for the 16 bay model, mm -hmm. we provide a different another card uh, with a QXP 1600ES that can support uh, up to 16 hard drives. Mm -hmm. So for this, we have uh, four cables available. Okay. Yeah. And we'll get to the cable later. Yep. Okay. Uh, for the record mount, uh, same four bay with a four port card and one cable. And for the two bay record mount, we include uh, one of the 16 port card and then three cables. Uh, so with the R means rack mount? R is rack mount, D is desktop. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, S means uh, external SAS or SATA connection, and RP is uh, redundant power. Yeah. Okay. How about TL? TL, we use a brand new naming called a trailer series. So okay. it's like a okay. hooked behind a host. Okay, okay. 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 A series of uh, many trailers behind. Okay, okay. cool, cool. Alright, so let's take a look at the front and the rear views. Mm -hmm. uh, on the front, it is very similar to the other TL uh, USB J bar. You will see that uh, we have uh, many status information mm -hmm. on the front, including the uh, system status and uh, device link status. Mm -hmm. okay? And uh, if there's a fan has an error or a stop or missing, mm -hmm. then there's a fan error there. Mm. And uh, for hard drive information, uh, we have a green and a red uh, LED to tell you about the information when you connect to a host. Mm -hmm. And uh, for all the desktop models, the trays are lockable, so mm. it can uh, prevent from accidentally being removed. Okay. okay. And uh, for the 8 bay and 60 bay models, we provide the LCD mm. uh, for to display advanced information, such okay. as the, the name of the device. Okay and uh, also the cable connectivity okay. information okay. okay so those are good for additional troubleshooting okay. okay sure and how can you install the drives into the tray uh, for 3.5 inch drives uh, you don't need a screwdriver so mm -hmm. it's very easy to install it uh, with a tourist design mm -hmm. and uh, for 2.5 inches you have to use a screw use screws to secure it Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are putting the enclosure into transportation, mm. make sure you put down the screws. Okay. okay yeah. Just to make sure it's secure. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And then uh, for the rear part, uh, there are several uh, switches available. Mm -hmm. So, for example, for the port, mm. uh, the port has uh, depends on how many bays. So, four bay requires one port, mm -hmm. eight bay requires two ports. Okay. And uh, for each port, another important information is each port is corresponding to uh, the set of hard drives. Mm -hmm. For example, for the A-Bay model, see mm -hmm. the A-Bay has uh, two ports, right? Mm -hmm. The top one is port one, second one is port two. Mm -hmm. So for port one, oh, is hard drive one, two, three, hard four. Drive one, two, four. Oh, okay. And for I port see. two is uh, five drive to five to eight. eight. Oh. So if you forgot to connect Port one, then drive one two four will be missing. Okay. Okay. So okay. I see. Those are yeah. have the orders. Mm -hmm. okay. Matching orders for the cables and ports. Yeah. Cool. And uh, there are several. Uh, for example, audio alert switch that can you can turn it on and off to permanently mute the device. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, fan speed. Uh, by default, it is in auto mode. So our system fan will automatically uh, rotate it. At different speeds depending on the system temperature. Mm -hmm. so you can send it to a manual control. Sure. And uh, for power input, uh, the four bay takes an external adapter, and the eight bay and sixteen bay has an internal power supply available. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now for the recommend models, uh, it's a s the status are the same as the J as the desktop J mm -hmm. bar. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, if you want to put this on a uh, rail, we provide the optional rail kit, the rail B02, oh. for you to put them into your rack. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's take a look. Uh, for the drive installation, you have to use the screws for either models. Okay. Uh, for the rack mount type? Yeah. For we don't provide the No, no is the installation for the okay. rack mount models. Okay. Okay. Why? Uh, because it is uh, usually in a secure place oh. and then by uh, IT professionals, so okay. it's easier for them to secure it. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. And the uh, rear view 
had the same design as the desktop model, mm. such as the fan speed settings and mm. uh, the number of different ports yeah. and the audio alerts mm -hmm. uh, switches and the power switch. Mm. Okay, uh, for the in power supplies uh, for the twelve bay model, you will see that uh, a redundant uh, two hundred fifty watts power supplies are included. So for the twelve twelve bay model, mm -hmm. it comes with only the redundant power skill. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. No choice. Yeah, no other uh, skills available. Okay. Because uh, we figure if you buy already buy uh, this high end model, mm. then the redundant power deserved for that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. ah, then the uh, about uh, uh, supply the QXP cards. Mm -hmm. So by adding the QXP card into your host computer mm. or the host NAS, it instantly adds multiple SATA six gigabit connections your host computer mm. or NAS. Mm. So we have uh, three models of QXP cards available. Mm -hmm. So starting from the four, four ports. Mm -hmm. So you will see that from the QXP 400 ES A1164, this model uh, has a one external SFF808A port mm -hmm. uh, for the cable and then support four drives and the maximum speed is a uh, Gen 3, PCIe Gen 3 by 2, so you will see up to 2 gigabytes mm -hmm, per second, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's quite fast. And uh, with all these cards, we have a health height design, so oh. you can uh, put this card in more of the NAS models uh, available. Okay. okay, so it supports the yeah. maximum possible NAS models and uh, server models. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will see that uh, each card is bundled in which T and or J bar model yes. also clearly written there, mm -hmm. and we also provide the different uh, brackets so that uh, you don't have to worry about uh, if it does not if it does not go into any of your device. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, we will also sell these cards separately in the future so that uh, when a card is missing or broken, you can re replace it with the card only, mm -hmm. or you can actually also buy additional ones uh, install on the additional host computer or mm. host NAS so in the future when you want to do a migration you can easily uh, plug and play okay. to a different host cool. okay? mm -hmm. and one thing I want to remind you to describe is uh, look at the QXP 1600ES the 16 port card yeah. see the connector is a little bit different right yeah the connector is a 4 of the 8644 because uh, uh, let's try let's uh, we have to put it in the, into the health height, uh, so we have to choose this uh, square design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we put in the 80, 88 the flat one, it won't be. We won't be able to make it into a health height. Yeah, because that's I, why we chose this smaller I was just, one. I was just wondering if you are going to put four of the big connector <laughs> into the four bay card, yeah. which means that, that is going to be very, very big. Yes. And you said that that is in the half height. Yes. So it curious. <laughs> Yeah, so for the 16 port uh, SATA card, ah. we use the different connector technology. I see. Okay. 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 So all low profile card. Yeah. So mm. that's why. So that's why we can make them all the low profile mm. uh, design. Okay. Cool. So let's get to the cable. Yeah. So the cables have a different connector uh, types. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. Two two types. Yeah, yeah, SFF 8644, the square one. Um, and the uh, SFF8088 for the flat one, okay? okay different connector. Okay. So we have uh, two different cables in our offer. Is there a shorter name for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the short name is called mini SAS for these kind of external cables, mini SAS cable. Ah, okay. okay. But the connector is uh, this, those, okay? You cannot get shorter than that. So it's, it's going to be like, hey, Jason, what are you going to buy today? Oh, I need one. SFF8644 to SFF8088 cable. Yeah, the connector is a, the connect type is very important because it, de yeah. it decided what if you can plug in or not. Yeah, okay. what a nice thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. So both of the cables we offer are one meter long. Okay, mm -hmm. so it should go one into meter only, right? One meter only. Yeah, in okay. most uh, places. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the part number that we also gonna sell them separately. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, you can also use these cables for your third-party products because uh, the cables not just support the SATA 6 gig but also SAS 6 gig. Mm. So if you have a third-party SAS 6 gig 
uh, J bar, mm -hmm. you can also use this cable for the connection. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. So, have you ever wondered how come these kind of J bar are so high speed? I mean, what kind of magic or foreign technology? Yeah, impressive. Cool. Yeah, from mm. a far, far away galaxy, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing, is, the, the thing makes me wonder more is why do we have to name it so long? Okay, come on. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at one by one. Actually, uh, I've narrowed it down to uh, four different architectures. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at four bay, four bay design. So on the QXP four port cards, uh, the IC there is a uh, PCIe Gen 3 by two. So mm -hmm. you get a 16 gigabit yes. bandwidth for yes. your host yes. and the yes. card. Yes. And then you can support four SATA drives. Mm -hmm. So four SATA drive maximum uh, CEO is uh, 26, 26, mm -hmm. uh, 24. Mm -hmm. 4 of the 6, so 24 gigabit mm -hmm. per second. But when you get to a host, you mm -hmm. still have a 16 gigabit. Mm -hmm. So 16 gigabit is almost like a 2 gigabyte per second mm -hmm. for the maximum theoretical yes. speed, right? Yes. Okay. So in any case, the, the entry model already gives you over the 10 gigabit speed. Yes. Right? With you know, much faster. Let's take a look at 8 bay model. Oh, okay. 8 bay is almost twice the speed yes. you will see that uh, really for fast. the host it's a gen 3 by 4 so mm -hmm. 32 gigabit per second yeah and on the qsp 800 es a1164 card we put in a pci gen 3 switch okay it's a very good product yeah. to make it possible so that we can put in two of the SATA controllers mm -hmm. in there each SATA controller can be mapped to four SATA drives mm -hmm. okay so you will see that uh, the entire architecture allows the JBAR performance uh, between the JBAR and the host yes. up to say 2 gigabit per second. Yes, yes, okay? yes good, good. Now the fastest will be the 16 bay. Okay? For oh. the 16 bay, uh, we put a very good uh, Marvel or SATA yes. controller there. Mm -hmm. So it is a very high speed Gen 3 by 8 interface. So 64, 64 gigabit per second is available really between fast. the QXP card and the host. It's okay. almost 8 gigabyte per second. Yes. 8 gigabyte per second. Eh? Yes. And wow. then the SAR controller can support the maximum 16 hard drives. Okay. So wow. if you populate all 16 hard drives, you can get up to 64 gigabit per second speed. Okay. I wish I can make money as fast as I could. Yeah, normally the, the higher speed means more money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> this means one second, one blue movies. Yeah. yeah. But with our this new Sara J bar, you know, the speed is fast, but uh, it won't cost as much as the those uh, SAS J bar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So check out a price later. You know. Oh, you, you you're gonna have the price here in, uh, in no, the slides. No, I mean, when it is released. Okay. When it is launched, okay, coming soon. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, so this this demonstrates you uh, the maximum available speed mm -hmm. for the 16 bay, mm -hmm. and for the 12 bay recommend model, see we even though the 12 bay only 12 drives, mm -hmm. but uh, we include a 16 port PCIe ah, QXP ah, card, ah. so which means uh, one of the port will be reserved. Okay, so you will only use three ports there yeah. for the connection, yeah. but it's even better because uh, you will see that uh, 12 hard drives share the 64 gigabit. Yeah. So actually, each hard drive port, when you install as high speed SSD, gets more the maximum yes. performance. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So then, uh, so those are the high speed architecture that mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, see from our J bar design. Yes. Okay. And uh, there are some other. Uh, points that I want to show you is that uh, uh, with the brand new TL SATA J bar, QNET provides Windows and uh, Linux Ubuntu utilities mm -hmm. called QNET J bar manager to help you uh, monitor the information. Mm -hmm. And also with our QTS, the upcoming QTS 4.2, 2 and QTS Hero can also support the J bar okay, and then which same will Let's say we'll talk about it later. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, to disconnect or disconnect the J bar, 
just be sure to follow the these steps. Otherwise, you may find uh, some issues in your computer. Okay. For example, some drives may be missing, or mm -hmm. you may also damage your RAID data. Okay. Oh. So, for example, first of all, you want to make sure your host and the JBAR are all powered off, and then you connect the cable. Mm. And then you power on the J bar first, mm -hmm. and then after the J bar is power on, you power on the NAS or PC. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. it, it it took only it takes only maybe a few seconds to power on the J bar. Okay. Less than a minute. Okay. I see. And then it depends on the more hard drive you install, the more time it requires, but less than a minute. Mm -hmm. And uh, to remove the J bar, also power off your host first, and then turn off the power of your J bar, and then remove the cable. Okay. okay, cool. So uh, once you have this uh, in place, then let's take a look at how you can utilize the existing uh, software rate utility in those various operating systems. Okay, uh, for the Windows operating system, see starting from Windows 8 mm -hmm. and then Windows Server, mm -hmm. there's a brand new uh, utility called Storage Spaces. Mm. So it's very easy to go in there and then uh, create a software RAID JBAR with Windows. Mm. So with Windows, it can support the RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 5. Okay, so for RAID 1, you can use an option of a two-way mirror or a three-way mirror mm. with RAID 1. Okay, and uh, uh, one thing to remind you is that uh, if you install the QXP 1600 ES card on your Windows, then you have to install a driver from our download center yeah. okay, for the correct uh, function. Mm -hmm. uh, for the four, 400 QXP 400ES and then the A1611-64 model, the 4-port and the 8-port QXP card, you don't need an additional driver. Oh, okay. Okay. Only the 16-port requires a driver. Okay. okay. And same for the Ubuntu, uh, because the Ubuntu has no uh, building graphics or graphical user interface to create a software rate. So it, it's more for advanced user to mm. create it with mm. the command line. Uh, likewise, for the QXP 1600ES, you have to install the driver first mm. okay, on your Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. All right, we provide in our download center. Mm. Now, if you are IT person, person and you, you probably have worked with a, a hardware rate PCI card before, mm -hmm. right? From your Windows Server and the uh, SAS J bar. You can also use it with our Stata J bar. Mm -hmm. So we have listed some of these uh, third party hardware rate vendors. So they specialize in hardware rate uh, adapters. And they also provide a very good uh, Windows utility for users to create uh, rate, hardware rate with our J bar. So as you can see, with uh, Windows native utility only support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID mm, 5, right? Yeah. But with these vendors, they can give you more flexible uh, hardware RAID options such as uh, RAID 10, RAID 50, 60. Mm. So it is very useful uh, to uh, install the hardware RAID card if you have them those laying around okay. with you. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, those are about the how I overview about the, the TL or SATA J bar. Okay. And then how about Sam talk about the various applications? Okay, so uh, for our uh, customer, they use the Windows and the Linux, we will provide them the uh, utility software we name is the QNet J bar manager. Mm -hmm. Can let our customer to know the detailed information and status of each uh, JBAR de device and each mm -hmm. disk. Uh, it's for Windows users, uh, it can, this utility can support from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Okay. And uh, for WinServer users, they can, it support 2012 to 2019. And for Linux, uh, it support Ubuntu 80.04. And it's very easy to use uh, on the up up left court corner, uh, you can quickly explore the, all the status of the, our JBAR device. And use, you just use a color to let you easily identify the disk status. And when you click the, the drawing on the uh, JBAR, uh, you click the disk, then you can get the more detail like the uh, bus type, disk type, manufacturer, and the disk capacity. If you 
want um, no more detail, then we have a tab can let it's named uh, disk information and click it. You can get each disk and uh, each detail smart information. Same. So uh, the disk, the green color, will become red when the hard drive is fading, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the green that means that, uh, it's running. It works normally. Uh, yes. Are we uh, are we have another software is called like uh, uh, external RAID manager? Yes, it's mm -hmm. for TR series. Yeah, and, and this is JBar manager. It's for TL series. Ah, uh, so basically the, the controlling and the configuration are kind of the same. Uh, similar, but uh -huh. uh, our TL JBar we saw the RAID manager features. Oh yes, yes, yes. Good. Similar design, but different utility. Yes. And the UI looks very similar. Yes. So if the users know how to use some other of our something manager software, mm -hmm. then yeah. they can use this JBAR manager software. Yes. Okay, okay. And if you want to know the detailed information of each device, uh, you, you have a one tab to name the device information mm -hmm. to get let you know the inclusion health the bus type, the power status. Uh, here power status is only for uh, redundant power models. Uh -huh. And the system temperature, fan speed, and the, uh, your uh, SATA connection status. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, oh, I see. And for the device temperature, you can also set up the temperature threshold from 55 to 69 degrees C. Um, so when the temperature is out of limit, the our inclusion will uh, give you the alarm, warning. give you a uh, warning, and the status will change from green to red. Uh, that means the warning status, mm -hmm. and also the fan will speed up automatically. Okay. And we also provide the independent log history and the notification. That means um, you can uh, record all events only occurred on this uh, mm. TLZ bar device and allow you to export all the log to our support team to mm. do some uh, if any trouble. trouble yeah. Mm. And the difference be, uh, between the USB Z bar we mm. announced last week. Uh, our SATA Zeba have two more fu functions. Uh, first is the pro LCM. Oh. That means uh, you can name it oh. as your wish. So like this Zeba, you oh. store only the like uh, same data oh. or uh, uh, material from uh, your, your virtual effect. Oh. Then you can name it a virtual effect. Then you oh. click oh. the LCM. Then you know this Zeba is for which kind of data. Okay, I see. And because it's connected by uh, SATA cables, so it has a mapping table to let you easily check the connection mm -hmm. of each cables. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, last feature is for our uh, Windows and Linux users. And for our NAS users, uh, because this TL uh, SATA ZEBA without the external red chip, so that means it's everything managed by our QTS yes. software. Yes. Then we can support more and more QTS disk manager feature mm. like uh, temperature warning, smart test, uh, Seagate Iron Wolf HM, and uh, you can do the uh, disk scan, disk erase, and the disk performance test. Okay, sure. And also you can customize the uh, crucial temperature measurement for our TLZ bar. Okay. This uh, TLZ bar, we can say it's uh, one machine for two uses. Mm. First, uh, when you connect to our NAS, uh, it will be the external disk mode. Mm. That means this storage is individual for each disk. Okay. You will see like uh, D800S, you will see uh, two, uh, eight independent disks on the UI. Mm. And mm. also you can configure it uh, as a red to be our storage pool. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to do it. Only in three steps. You go to, you launch the uh, storage and snapshot manager and click the create button to oh. create a storage pool, then select the TLZ button then set up the right type. Okay. It's, very it's, easy. it's just like using the QDS. Yes. Right? Yeah. So this 
TLC bytes not only be your storage expansion, oh. it can be also be your uh, snapshot vault yes. to save your uh, volume so. and uh, long snapshot. Okay. Uh, only two tips we want to mention again. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to use our t SATA Z bus, there are two requirements. First, you have your NAS ha must have the PCI PCIe slot, yeah. and its uh, always version should be QTS 4.4.2 or higher. Just make it always the latest, and yes. everything will be done, right? That's right. And uh, another tip is. Uh, TLZ bytes need to create a separate storage pool. Oh. That means you cannot use this to expand your original oh. storage pool okay. on okay. the NAS. I see. Yeah. And maximum two. Yeah. You can also um, uh, install maximum two of the TLJ bar into the NAS. Yes. Okay. Only two. Exactly. Okay. Only two. And here is our amazing performance for. SATA Z bus. Yeah. You can see our QA team provide the, the benchmark right. from uh, Windows 10, Ubuntu, and our uh, NAS. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, TLD800S. Mm -hmm. So it's eight, three it's times eight. higher than the TL USB J. Yes. So oh. if you're after the speed, like if you are working with uh, 4K media editing or mm -hmm. with uh, the 3D content creation, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then the TL SATA Z bus is a great companion for okay. your computer. Okay, yeah. cool. Then let's go to see the live demo. Okay, so which side you want to go first? Uh, okay, the computer, right? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, it's a uh, Windows 10 for running our QNAP JBAR manager. Mm -hmm. So you can see the drop down list. I can mm -hmm. show you how many mm. JBAR device connected to your uh, PC mm. and it's very easy to identify the disk status yeah. from this UI. And the device infos, you can get everything which we talk about. Oh, it's temperature a, and the speed for the fan. And, and you can see the, port the startup port 4 mm. is disconnected mm. and you can configure the uh, temperature ratio. Mm -hmm. you can, can you click on the tool tip next to the port status? What does yeah. it show? There's a tool tip I, I Yeah, the green one is connected this one? and mm -hmm. this one is unsupported. Okay. Oh. So those are four ports it shows you if uh, the cable is yes. connected to a host. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, so the blue tool tip? Tool, yeah, that one. Okay. Each external port is connected to huh? four disks. Yeah. It, it's brand uh -huh. the what just mentioned. Uh -huh. uh, port one is means disk one, one two, two, four. Four. and port, port two, two means five, five, five to eight. eight. Okay, sure. And the disk information you can get each disk uh, mm. to know its uh, manufacturing capacities and click the status. Mm -hmm. You can get more detailed smart info. Mm -hmm. yeah. and then we also support uh, a firmware update automatically. And here is a uh, log history. Okay, this is our utility for Windows and uh, Linux user. Mm -hmm. And uh, for our NAS user, See here, I connect to one D eight hundred S. Yeah, then I I think all the QNAP NAS user should know how to use it because yeah. the UI is just pretty but much But for the uh, previous uh, oh. expansion, you need uh, it can be control. You, you cannot run the performance test, oh. and now it's supported, and uh, you can use it to to get the more detail okay. of the disk info and do the scan, erase. Mm -hmm. And you have to take it as a separate long yeah. volume, right? You, you cannot take it as an expansion part yes. of the, the original storage and pool. Everything is very easy. If you want to create a storage pool, yeah. so like a TLZ bar. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. We support all red type. Ah, cool. Okay, great. Easy. 
we like Jason to introduce our mm -hmm. hardware design. Mm -hmm. Okay. So th for the hardware, we go to the webcam, right? Yeah. yeah. So here there's a T TLDAMS mm -hmm. I have prepared available. And uh, here I just want to re uh, mention again, uh, just uh, there's a, a required mention, mention a QSB mm -hmm. card with the connectors and the cable. The AT6644 uh, and the AT88. Okay, just make sure, uh, I mean, when you buy a, the J bar, you won't get uh, confused because we provide the mentioning uh, mm -hmm. accessories mm -hmm. already included in the mentioning parts. Uh, but uh, if you want to buy them separately in the future, just mm. make sure you get the correct one. I mean, who's gonna who's gonna memorize the name of the the, the cables like eighty six eighty eight and uh. eighty six forty four and eighty six. You 88. can say you want to buy the cable <laughs> of uh, the eight hundred <laughs> or okay. okay. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, in in our uh, uh, in the future on our webpage, you will list the matching. Mm. Um, cables and uh, uh, QSB cards for mm. each uh, J bar model. So yeah. your customer should have an issue finding the right part. Yes, that, that is very important. All right, so <laughs> that's a quick overview about the highway. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, I want to know one thing. Uh, can we buy the uh, lock trail from QNAP? The lock? The yeah, the tray will be uh, is available as a, a spare parts. So oh. you, you can, it's, a, it's available uh, we are setting those as uh, uh, parts okay. for on our website and also uh, in many places. It's cool yeah. okay. because my at mm -hmm. seventy two ST. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so wh when when we're gonna have this on our online shop? Uh, you mean the J bar unit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, J bar should be available in the next one one month. Next one month. Okay, so mm -hmm. maybe next year. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So after so Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So the new year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are we are we okay. going back to the yeah, slides? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so let let us uh, tell you uh, what kind mm. of uh, expansion units you should consider okay. when you are facing with so many options, right? Mm -hmm. So starting uh, with the uh, the speed requirements, mm. you know, mm. uh, depends on how fast you want. If you're on the highest performance, definitely choose the new uh, TA or SATA J bar. Yes, Gives you, uh, you know, up to 64 gigabit per second yeah. when you choose the uh, 12 bay or 16 mm. bay. Uh, oh. If you want the middle speed, then choose the TA or USB J bar. It gives you a USB 3.1 oh. Gen 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you want the cr cross platform. Uh, compatibility and with the how it how rate built in then choose the TR002 and 004 series mm -hmm. so with those have a how rate chip inside so mm -hmm. you can build your how rate uh, 0 rate 0 rate 105 mm -hmm. uh, independently yeah. so uh, there's no any compatibility issue you know and uh, performance the TR002 2 bay has a USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 mm -hmm. gigabit speed. Mm -hmm. 004 has a 3.1 Gen 1 speed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. lower speed but uh, more compatible, more compatibility and easy to use with mm -hmm. the hardware rate. Cool. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you want high capacity, then we choose the J bar. You know, with the high capacity and the software rate. Mm -hmm. All these items can be used with different operating systems. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. Uh, then uh, for, of course uh, for USB you have uh, another option is uh, for use Mac mm -hmm. okay. and then uh, with a QTS uh, if you want to if you want advanced uh, drive uh, monitoring information then choose the TL or J bar USB and the SATA mm -hmm. those are uh, when you plug into our NAS we provide the more advanced features that mm -hmm. you can use with the software rate and the J bar mm -hmm. okay. and uh, if you want uh, the rate migration, rate level migration and the capacity expansion, then choose the software rate J bar. Oh, okay. Okay. Because with those uh, allow you to upgrade the capacity in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas uh, when you choose a TR because a uh, highway rate IC limitation mm -hmm. so you will be uh, this remain the same capacity unless you uh, back up the data and then uh, recurry the rate with a big hard drive, bigger okay. hard drives. Okay. So this is a summary of uh, all the different uh, 
QNAP uh, expansion okay. enclosures that uh, customers can buy okay, uh, in okay. 2020 to mm -hmm. go with their computers and uh, with the NAS. Okay, all right. Cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, so this comes with uh, some standard warranty uh, for the desktop oh. models. You get a two-year standard warranty mm -hmm. for the desktop models, mm -hmm. and uh, for the recommend models. Uh, you get a three years in a warranty. Okay. Uh, but QNAP auto sell extend warranty to make you get to make you cover for up to five years yeah, total. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those are different skills you can uh, purchase. Okay. And just remember to uh, register for that to buy and register for that within the ninety days of your purchase. Uh -huh. uh, to have an extend warranty. Okay. All right. So to make a, a summary. You know the brand new TL Sarge bar is very high speed, mm -hmm. you know, and it's good for storing your uh, large data, and uh, with the multiple SATA LAN ports for external connection, uh, it's a great and uh, uh, affordable way to expand your NAS and uh, your Windows and uh, Ubuntu computers mm -hmm. and the servers, and uh, with QNAP exclusive uh, J bar manager utility for uh, Windows and Ubuntu. We make the users and administrators uh, very easy to know the real time status of your J bar and even even the hard drive information. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, when you connect the J bar to the NAS, uh, you can either choose it as a external standalone uh, individual hard drive usage, or you can make it as an internal usage. So you can create a pool with it for our uh, other applications to use it such as NetShop Vault and uh, also volume for other QNAP uh, applications okay yeah hmm. so let's uh, today we bring the very fast the wow. TL or SATA J bar that uh, will be coming soon and for the QNAP users and also for PC users that uh, you can use it to expand your capacity yeah All right? that's a really good thing and new thing so for now on, we have fulfilled our uh, expansion unit roadmap for now. So you can choose by yourself like our TR series or mm -hmm. our USB USB, USB J bar or the this is this is T L Saha J bar. Yeah, so depends on your requirement and your current in, in structure. Mm -hmm. So choose wisely, and uh, we will okay. I'll go back to the slide. Yeah. So uh, if you want to know more about this series, you can just go to live.qnap.com and choose for TL SATA JBot as the keyword today and you can, you, can, you can watch this video again. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know more of our products, please go to our website www.qnap.com. And we will see you next time on our live broadcast. Bye. Sure. See you. Bye. -bye.